Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Rusty. It's been a long time since I've made a video for you guys for science, but I know that this month we're learning about music and I play the violin. Not very well, but well enough to have fun. But I wanted to share with you a couple of other different string instruments because a violin is in the string family, as well as a guitar, a ukulele, and the bowed psaltery. Now, I don't really play the ukulele, but I do have one for fun. And I do play the bowed psaltery, but I haven't picked it up in a long time. But we'll start with the violin. So a violin is this. It has F holes, it has a bridge, it has a fingerboard, it has four strings, it has pegs, fine tuners, and a strap that goes down and connects it all together. Now, you would think that it'd be really, really easy to play, and it is, with lots of practice. When you play a violin, you can do two things. You can pluck it with your finger, or you can use a bow. Now, to tune a violin, which I've already tuned this one, you use the pegs and the fine tuners. Mine's not exactly the best tune, but it's as close as I can get. And this is a bow. Not like what you use for archery, but what you use to play a violin. And the bow has horse hair, it has wooden part, and sometimes it's plastic. My favorite part is where you hold it. It's called the frog. <laughs> so you take the bow, you have to hold it down here on the neck, under the fingerboard. Your chin goes down here on this end, and you should be able to hold a violin like this after lots of practice. And you stand up straight, or if you're in an orchestra, you might sit. Did you hear the difference in the strings? Some are low. Some are high. Now I can go even higher. It's horrible, isn't it? I think I know what's wrong with my bow. To play the violin, you have to rosin your bow. Now, I had rosin right here. Rosin comes from trees. It's like a sap, but they dry it out and it comes from trees. So you take the bow and I gotta put some of this rosin on here. Rosin helps the bow go over the strings better. Make sure I get enough on there. Pick up my bow, my violin and my bow. So this is a G. Can you hear the difference? Sounds a lot better, doesn't it? G, D, A, E. I'm going to say that musical alphabet as I play. G, A, B, C, D. alphabet only goes from A to G. There is no H, but you have flats and sharps and all kinds of different notes in between to make music even more diverse. I'm going to play a song, and it's one of three songs. I wonder if you can guess what it is. right if you said Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Ba Ba Black Sheep, or the ABC song. It's all three songs, but just different speeds. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you, I'll let you hear, was the ukulele. Ukulele! Yeah, so this ukulele is a toy ukulele. So, and you play it by strumming. If you have a pick, which I don't know where my pick is, you might pick it. And you would put your fingers down here. 
Ukuleles and guitars are played with chords. So you have a bunch of notes that come together to form a chord. So you might put your finger down across three and then put the other finger on the first one and it makes a chord. I don't know what those chords are because I really don't play it. I would love to learn how to. And maybe you might learn how to play it. Now, we have the bowed psaltery. Now, the bowed psaltery is an older instrument than a violin. It goes back to probably Greece. I don't know. But mine was made in the mountains of North Carolina by Carolina. hand. And these are piano strings on here. And each one is a different note. These are the tuners, and you have to have a special tool to tune it. So, let's see. If I remember... This would be G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, Do you hear the different sounds? All right, let me see if I can remember how to it's play like this song. Hand -hand it's like a hand harp, like Avery was saying. Avery is recording this video for everybody to watch. So hold on, I am going to find a special song to play. I have it somewhere. Oh my God. I don't see it anywhere. It's one of my favorite songs, I don't see it. Anyway. You also have to rosin this bow to, um, I'm missing a book is what it is. Where would be at? Not this one. No, it's not that one. Those are my um, other instruments. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can remember how to play this. It's been a long time. So, usually I play it sitting down. That was Morning Has Broken, which is a uh, real beautiful song. I wish I could play it a little bit better, but maybe one day I will. I'll practice it. Maybe I can play it again for y'all next week. But that are just some string instruments. The biggest thing to remember is this is a violin. And if you play it really fast, like when you're in the country or in the mountains, Tapiola. or you like, like bluegrass, it's called a fiddle. And I am going to end, if I can find it, Oh no, this is the wrong book. With our fiddle tune. And it's a blue book. Do I have my blue book? No. No. Well, folks, if I remember a little bit of a fiddle tune, it kind of goes like, I see happy blues, I see theme variations, I see my scales. Well, I was going to play a fiddle tune for you, but I'll hear my lead. beginner's fiddle tune. You play it really, really, really fast. And when you watch fiddle piddles, fiddle piddles, when you watch fiddle players, they're usually tapping their foot on the ball and they just go. And sometimes they play so much that the bow hairs break. But anyway, that's all I have for y'all today. I will be back with more either next week or I might even have some more videos about violins with this um, recorded activity today. But I hope the best thing you can do is listen to something with a violin in it today and draw a picture about how it makes you feel. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.